This is most convenient. Another destination we were bound for is not far from here. We shall have to decide which is the most pressing. We cannot do everything at once. This might be worth a read. Shall we take a closer look? Greetings, Your Majesty. Have your moment to speak. You'll want to hit. Tis not a matter for prying ears. Come, I'll lead the way. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen Your Majesty's claim as a true arisen, you've done a fine job culling those monsters, Your Majesty. Tis common knowledge among the people that t'was you who did the number of those who seek out this tavern in the hope of an audience with the Arisen grows by the day. Should you continue to display such valor, the day will soon come when Deesa can no longer deny your presence, and ere it slips my mind. Pray, take this. Tis a symbol of my own gratitude. Nought compares to the sense of achievement that accompanies a job well done. Indeed. You've culled more than your fair share of monsters. I expect tales of your valor will soon be told in taverns. Splendid. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen, you will need to infiltrate the palace to gather evidence of Deezer's misdeeds. I hesitate to ask something so dangerous of you, yet I fear we have few other options. I have attempted to do the same through my own channels before now. Though, I have yet to uncover so much as a whisper of her plots. Would that I could undertake the task myself, but my station prohibits me from reckless action. What say you, Your Majesty? Might I ask this? I shall ensure that the door to the Queen Regent's office is open between midnight and dawn. Pray, use that time to conduct your investigation. Pray, follow me. The one we're here to meet intends to... ...to arrive at a different time of day. I dare say we shan't make much progress as things stand. What say we refresh our minds as to the details of our task? We have obtained a bunch of flowers, as Miss Daphne requested. Now we have but to deliver it to her. I believe I... My, my! I'm trapped like a rat in a cage. This arisen's both shrewd and fleet of foot. What? Can't you think of a reason? I'd thought you were keener wit than that. Let's just say there are some who don't want you wandering about as you please. I was to report on your comings and goings, you see. But I suppose that job's over. Now you found me out? So, how about it, friend? Will you let me go? I've no reason to trouble you any further. Aye, aye. You'll have your coin. That's how this works, isn't it? <laughs> Glad we understand each other. I'll be on my...
We allowed the agent to flee. I cannot help but wonder whether it was the right choice. I have no answer to give. Doors locked. That should do it. Tell is, Vermont was once a Beastron kingdom. Truly? Indeed. Though it is not widely known among the common folk. of flowers already oh just look at them they're the most beautiful flowers I've ever seen <laughs> these should brighten the sisters days say would you mind terribly if I asked you another favor see one of my friends taught me a magic spell it's supposed to let you meet whomever you like. All you have to do is find a silver stone, put it under your pillow, and say the magic words. But there's the problem. I've been looking all over for such a stone, and I can't find one anywhere. Would you find a silver stone and bring it to me, Arisen? For true. I knew I could count on you, Arisen. I'll be waiting. Our next mission is to acquire a silver stone. Mayhap silver ore will serve. We can purchase it, or mine it up ourselves. True enough. Oh, it's not right. It doesn't make any sort of sense. The doctor examined him afore and said he'd be better with a bit of medicine. Yet, ere since he came here, he's only gotten worse. I understand how you must feel. But you must see that your son's health continues to wane. There is no medicine that can heal him outright. He requires proper treatment. I am caring for him as best I can. I beg only for your patience. However, if you truly cannot entrust him to me, perhaps you would care to take him home with you instead. Mayhap convalescing in a place familiar to him would aid his recovery. Of course, I would be sure to visit him as oft as I am able. Uh, home, you say? Dear, we are pressed enough as tis. All right, he stays. But pray, bring my son back to health. I will look after him. I swear it. Sir, ought you not be in... Ah, forgive me. You're not a patient, are you? I suppose you must be a visitor. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Eleanor. I have the privilege of serving as abbess here. I regret that I cannot offer you a cup of tea, but I'm in the middle of making my rounds of the patients. Not to mention, I have to find the means to procure more medicinal ingredients. Oh. You wouldn't happen to know someone willing to brave the roads, would you? I know it is perilous, but there is one ingredient in particular we cannot afford to run out of. You would procure it yourself. I am grateful beyond words, sir. In that case, might I trouble you to bring me some miasmite? The slums are a bane to the body's humors, and its residents are oft prone to illness. We do what we can with what little we have, but we're always short on helping hands. Your aid is most appreciated, sir. May your search prove fruitful. 
tell is, Maya's might can be harvested from phantoms. Monsters that wander the world at night. Ah, now I understand. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. We ought to put it to good use. I expect this ore will suffice for the silver stone Miss Daphne requested. Let us deliver it to her now. Methinks I know where to find the person you're looking for. Oh, I can't find a silver stone anywhere. Have you fared any better? Oh, just look how it shines. Thank you ever so much. Say, aren't you curious who I want to meet? Well, I'll tell you. My mother and father. I don't even know what they look like, you know. Not to say I'm unhappy at the gracious hand, of course. But I'd really like to meet them, even just once. I want to tell them how grateful I am that they gave me life. Oh, it's so shiny. Oh, hi, Arisen. You'll help me again if I need it, won't you? Please say yes. Miss Daphne seemed pleased with our efforts. Mayhap we ought to pay her another visit sometime soon. True enough. Yes, sir. Have you procured what I asked? Splendid. You've my gratitude. Unfortunately, I can give you little more than that. Forgive me, but I must return to my... Ah, but in place of a reward, mayhap I could give you a tour of the premises. Only if you've the time and... Inclination, of course. What say you? Would you care to accompany me? As servants of the Gracious Hand, we provide whatever treatment we can to those unfortunate who are stricken by maladies. Yet, at times, it is not enough. Perhaps you will recall the parents who were here when you first arrived. An unfortunate pair. They've suffered no few hardships in the slums, and now, 
Even their poor son Lubomir has fallen ill. By chance, he was examined by a roaming man claiming to be a doctor. Yet, the family had not the money for the medicine he required. So, he was put into our care. Here he is. This young man is Lubomir. We've been administering the medicine recommended by the doctor who examined him, but he has yet to show any sign of recovery. To be perfectly honest, I doubt the soundness of that so-called doctor's judgment. After all, there is no shortage of ne'er-do-wells out there willing to claim their medicine the only cure, that they might inflate its price. But I suppose I ought not say such things so openly. A at any rate, I'd best continue on my rounds. Pray, stay as long as you wish. Come, come. We've medicine to prepare. We've enough to make a fresh batch now, thanks to a kind donation. Psst! You there! Help me! Listen, the sisters here are good to us, but I'm growing weaker day by day. It started with a slight fever, and now I can scarce lift myself up. See that empty bed? An old man was lying in it till just a few days past. He told me he was feeling better, that he'd be well enough to leave anon. And now he's... Mayhap I'm just imagining things. I hope that's the case. And yet... Gah... Something isn't right about this place. Pray, should you hear any queer rumors about the Gracious Hand, come tell me of them, won't you? I'd see to it myself, but I can hardly move. Yon path leads not to our destination. If you would prefer to explore, I shall guide you another time. The Arisen decides our path. We have but to follow. Might I beg but a moment of your time? Is there aught I can assist you with? Good day, sir. Each of our patients deserves our full attention. Would that we had more. Medicine? Medicine! 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 Now! 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 Oh, someone help me! Jahan? Bruno, where have you gone?
A profitable endeavor. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? Might you be a friend of Lubomir's? He's seen better days, hasn't he? There has been talk of sending him down to the basement, should his condition fail to improve. That is... The basement sick room, where our most critical patients convalesce under the Abessa's care. None of the other sisters are permitted entry, including myself. Tell is, she gives the patients a special medicine. I, I know not what kind. At times, I hear strange cries and moans drift up from below, wh wh which is to, to be expected. Those who come here suffer all manner of afflictions, you see. And yet, a part of me is afeard. So, the worst of us are taken to the basement. Mayhap that's the source of a nun say the abbess can enter? If the gracious hand has a secret, tis the abbess who keeps it, I reckon. You've done this much for me. Would you be willing to go further? I must find out what goes on down there. Oh, you've my thanks. I just can't stomach the thought of lying here not knowing. Of course, all the better should your search come to naught. But if you do find aught some mist down in that basement, it must be the Abbess's doing. Should you find evidence fit to implicate her, will you help me see to it that justice is carried out? See, I've already reported my suspicions to the Sentinels, and we've arranged a signal. If you apprehend the Abbess, they'll know to come and arrest her. So I beg you, sir, find the evidence you need, if it exists to be found. To get to the bottom of what is happening at the Gracious Hand, we shall have to acquire... Yeah? What is it? How might we enter the basement sick room? Splendid. It would be prudent to investigate the most suspicious place first, methinks. Shall we make for the basement sick room? Follow me, Master. I shall guide you to the location. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. At last we've arrived. Delivery in hand. We ought to make the delivery now, lest it should end up lost or misplaced. Right you are. Here we are. <laughs> Why, hello. An unsettled mind begets an unsettled world. Got something for me? Sure you don't want an adventure. It's my duty. 
You're back. Pray, tell me, have you found anything? What? You found a medicine used only in the... I... Uh, do you think... Could I trouble you to look into this as well? Mayhap you could show it to the doctor I saw before coming here. Radcliffe, his name was. He's staying in the rest town. Pray, sir, do what you can. I must know. Methinks we would do well to bring this medicine to Sir Radcliffe, the doctor over in Rest Town. True enough. You're back! Pray, tell me, have you found anything? These look like records of tree. Johan and Bruno. I know these two. They left here not long ago, fit as a pair of fiddles. I recall them being especially meek to the abbess. Mayhap that's what got them out safely. At any rate, they may know aught of use. Loath as I am to ask more of you. Perhaps you would speak to them? Might we not seek out the individuals to whom these records of treatment belong, and question them about Lady Elena? I believe I can guide you to the person in question. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Allow me to lead the way. I can take you to our destination by the optimum route. Now merely sit back and enjoy. A common... Oh, well met. Lady Eleanor's a goodly person, a saint-like. Her own... I wavered between life and death for quite some time in that basement sick room, and she watched over me through it all, bless her. Can't say as I miss that basement, mind. Tis an eerie place, dark and shadowy, filled with the moaning of the sick. Supposed is only to be expected, given the state of those assembled. I'm sure I was moaning too. Elena, ah yes, the abbess of the gracious hand. A fine woman by all accounts. I was in her care once myself. But I must admit, I've always felt there's something off about her. You see, I was only a little under the weather when I entered her care. But then I started getting sicker and sicker till I was certain death would come for me. In the end, I survived, but methinks I was one of the lucky few. So many died down there. And once, I saw her, the abbess, meeting with a strange man. She handed him a large parcel, all wrapped up, and he gave her something small in return. You'd think to a medicine, but I'd not have bought medicine from a man like that. He had the look of a scoundrel about him. They were whispering, but I did hear one of them say aught about keeping quiet. Tis well suspicious, eh? Where'd they meet? Twas in the square, in the eastern part of the common quarter. And always a night, as I recall. Stomachs complain. 
remaining. Why would Lady Elena meet with such a suspicious personage? Mayhap we ought to ascertain the truth with our own eyes. Follow me. I will guide you to the location. You have our gratitude. Lead the way. Swapping stories is one of life's great pleasures. Come, I'll lead the way. Over here, Master. Did you lose sight of me? Allow me to lead the way. I should like to put my knowledge to good use. Here. Aye, this is plenty. Lord Phasus is like to be in your debt. <laughs> Nicely done. Suppose it can't have been easy to procure this much so quickly. You suppose wrong. I command their full faith. Tis simple for me to extract what I require. Ha! You're a fearsome one. Here's hoping I ne'er end up in your care. Enough. I gave you yours, now you give me mine. I'd not be seen here with you. Ah, of course. Wouldn't want to hurt the Lady Saint's image in the eyes of the common folk, would we? Here's your special medicine. Glad we understand each other. Till next time. I be seeing you. This is not the first we've heard of Lord Phasus. What could his aim be, I wonder? I know not what to make of this. Shall we bring the medicine we discovered to the doctor over in the rest town? Mayhap he can tell us of its effects. If you wish to meet with this person, I would gladly lead the way. You have our gratitude. Lead the way. This journey will be a long one. What say we employ an ox cart and save our feet the blisters? A most agreeable suggestion. Of course, the Arisen shall have the final say in the matter. Apologies, but I can't offer you a ride, sir. I'm not taking any passengers just now. If our destination is a distant one, Travel by ox cart might be worth considering. Walking everywhere is certainly. This ox cart's bound for the checkpoint rest town. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due.
is all to miss here amongst them. This is quite a quandary. Off we trot. Polishing my armor can wait to be Let me get that. Say, you wouldn't happen to have seen a pretty stone lying about, would you? One befitting the name the Jadeite Orb. It was stolen from me while I was delivering it, and if Master Everard should find out, he'd wring my neck. It is no exaggeration. He's had people killed afore, more than a few at that. To be quite truthful, I'd intended to sell off the Jadeite Orb and quit this place for good. Working under a man such as him, I'd only get chewed up till he decided to spit me out. That jewel was my last hope. Now it's gone. Unless... Unless you were to find it for me. Would you, sir? Oh, pray do a poor man a kindness. The Jadeite Orb could be anywhere now. Perchance we ought to speak with someone who has experience. Have you come from Vernworth? How are things there? The ancient battleground to the north is overrun with hordes of fell beasts, and so little are survivors anticipated that you'll find not even a checkpoint here. In times past, twas safe enough a night when the monsters sleep, but no longer. Since a few days past, skeletons and phantoms have made this their nightly battleground. Tis nigh impassable now. It could be that aught's befallen the cenotaph. I'd heard the spirits had calmed somewhat since twas erected. Say, if I cannot dissuade you from traversing the ancient battleground, would you consider passing by the cenotaph and making sure aughts are right with it? We have reached our destination. Mayhap we can employ a cart for our next journey. Oi, you there! You've just arrived in town, haven't you? I don't mean to pry, only it's my grandson, a boy by the name of Rog. He's gone missing. Pray tell, have you seen the lad? Morris, 
I've just found out Roger's been abducted by beasts. W -w what No! How can that be? I've just heard news. Rod was seen being dragged off by wolves. Oh, my poor boy. We must go rescue him at once. Morris, think what you're saying, friend. We can't go charging off after the lad. We are no match for such creatures. Do you truly expect me to do naught but twiddle my thumbs when my only grandson's been taken from me? The soldiers won't do aught for him, will they now? Consarn it all. He's right. But what else am I to do? If I do not hasten to the poor lad's aid, who will? Did it do you truly mean that, sir? You will save my grandson. If you return him to me, I will be forever in your debt, stranger. Shall we seek some answers? Aye? In need of a doctor, are you? What's this you're giving me? Oh, I see. You want me to run some sort of test on this? Determine what manner of substance it is? Interesting. Well, you've certainly piqued my curiosity. Whatever your reasons, I'll take a look. Naturally, I'll need a bit of time with it. Come back again in... Oh, I don't know. Later. I met Roger by the Cenotaph, on the eastern side of town. He had what looked like a bundle of grass with him, only he was carrying it as though to were of the greatest import. When I asked what he was doing with it, he would say no more than twas a secret. So I told him to get home safe, and we parted ways. Yet no sooner had I turned my back than I heard him scream. I charged to his aid but a wolf was already scarpering with him and its jewels. Poor lad, his cries haunt me even now. Pray help him if you can, sir. He deserves a better fate than this. The flowers that bloom around here glow come nightfall. From what I can glean, the petals absorb the sun's light by day and release it after dark. Isn't that unusual? Nature works. You'll never believe this, but the other day, I saw an elven woman and a dwarven man walking hand in hand. Normally, you put an elf and a dwarf in the same room and they'll be trading blows before you can blink. Mayhap my eyes deceived me. We're not allowed to talk during missions, sir. Poor Raj. He truly is a lovely boy. He's always helping Morris in his shop. And he's delivered me my remedies many a time. Once, he even picked some flowers on his way out and put them up for me. All pretty-like. 
I still recall his smile when he told me about the beautiful flower bed he tends to on the outskirts of town. Oh, Rog, will I ever see your smile again? I suppose I can only hope. We are none of us alike in vocation. Mayhap the flower bed will offer some clue as to Roger's whereabouts. I've a knack for gathering items and am ever on the hunt for new finds. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. No harm in picking a few. when we did. We must not let down our bed. I grant your weapon a magical boon. Over here, if you would. We have found a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Let them harm you. Over here, if you please. We found a chest. Let us examine what it has to offer. destination in mind, Master. Very well. I shall follow your lead instead. There will be other opportunities to lead. For now, let us follow.
I can't imagine we're in need of a campsite just now. Let us return once we've grown tired from our labors. As a matter of fact, curious thing, one of my former masters chose to hire only women. I wonder why. Words worth hearing. There's a shorter path we might take now. Allow me to show you. Rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. We must not let down our guard. I will be your shield. Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. is best avoided here. I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. Now, what might that be? We ought to take a closer look. I grant you lightning's fangs. Oh. 
Foxen are sturdy creatures, aren't they? Tis best to leave harmless creatures be.